English winners. In this Business English video, we're going to cover vocabulary for trade shows, conventions, conferences, and expos. Seminars, conferences, trade shows, expos. These are all situations where people from an industry will gather together to show off what they have and try to get people to buy. And it's also a place where people who sell to those industries will gather in order to sell to those different companies. Now, I will go into the vocabulary of some of these things so you will know a little bit more what's going on when you attend a trade show or when you wish to sell at one yourself. Let's get started. The first one is event. Now, event, an event is a time, date, and place where something happens. An event is organized by somebody, usually a group of people or an organization. So an organization will create an event in the hopes that people will come to it. Now, the more interesting the event is, the more likely people are to come. Also, we have ticket. That should be pretty easy. The word ticket is in a lot of languages, and ticket is just the piece of paper that you pay for in order to gain entry to the event. Our next word is badge. Now, badge is a little different from ticket because a badge usually hangs from a lanyard attached around your neck, like a necklace, and it'll be a square thing. It might say your name, where you're from, and the information of what type of events you have access to. Now, not all badges are the same. With some big festivals, uh, there will be different badges that grant you access to different places. For example, a few times I've volunteered at South by Southwest and other conferences, and at South by Southwest, they have a badge for music, a badge for film, which is, you know, video, television, that sort of thing. And then they have a badge called interactive, which is a combination of technology, social media, business, entrepreneurship, advertising, gaming. Now, as South by Southwest continues to get bigger and bigger, they might have more different badges than that. It's been a while since I've gone, but that is an example of badges. So if you have the film badge, you can go to the film events, but you cannot go to the music events, right? And then, of course, if you buy the really expensive badge that gives you access to everything, then you can attend everything. But this gives you the opportunity to save money if there are some things you just aren't interested in. So, now that you know what a badge is, let's go on to the next word. Our next word is deposit. Now, with a deposit, that is money that you pay up front if you wish to rent a location to promote your business. This will often be on a trade floor, and you will be near other people who have also paid deposits so that they can rent a space. Now, I will tell you what that space is called in the next word. That next word is booth. The booth is the location where your business is set up. Now, you can rent multiple spaces if you have a lot of money or are a big company. For instance, uh, there's one expo in America called E3. It's called the Electronics Entertainment Expo. Now, if you're an independent comic book company curious about video games, you might have just one booth. However, if you are Nintendo or if you are PlayStation, you might have a huge area made up of many booths. Now, each booth uh, that I've seen in conferences I've gone to range between two by three meters to as long as five by ten meters. They can be big or small, and the organizers of the event will charge a deposit to use that space, and that is a booth. Our next word is exhibit. Now, a booth is the place where people promote their business but the exhibit is the thing used to promote. So it could be something people try, like a virtual reality headset. Uh, it could be 
a product that people buy, like a book, right? And these things are exhibits. These are things that people try out, they look at, they touch, and that promotes the business. It gets people interested in what the booth renters, the company, is trying to promote. And then we have samples. Now, samples are kind of like exhibits, but you can take them with you. They are usually the product, but in smaller form. This, as a good example, could be food. If you're at a food expo, they might give you a free sample that you can take and even eat. You, you might end up having, if it's a cosmetics or makeup kind of place, they might give you a sample of makeup. I, I don't know too much about that. But also, if they don't have products associated with the company that you can take with you, they'll give you merchandise, which is like maybe a bag or a pen or even business cards or magnets, things that are kind of useful but have the company name on it. So that way, as you are walking around the expo, you're giving the other company free advertising. But since you're getting something out of it too, a pen can write, a magnet can stick to a refrigerator, and you can carry things in your bag, you're getting some usefulness out of it too. Next we have guest speaker. Now, any decent conference is going to have some guest speakers. And guest speakers are experts, usually consultants to an industry, people who are well known, maybe they have a book about it, maybe they have a very high position in a company that everybody is interested in. And they are attending the event to hear this guest speaker talk about what they are interested in. And so that is a big draw for people. They come to conferences to gain wisdom or information. And our next word will be panels. A panel is a group of guest speakers. And usually there's a table set up on a stage. You'll see three to five usually expert guest speakers that will sit at a panel and they will have a discussion. And so that discussion will be based on a topic like the impact of technology on the film industry or how to get your business promoted using Instagram. And you'll have experts on that thing talking to each other, sharing information that they know. Meanwhile, you're just sitting in the audience, you got your notepad and a pen and you're busy taking notes and learning. Now, the great thing about panels is that at the end, they usually have what's called a Q&A. Q&A is an abbreviated term. It means questions and answers. So at the end, you can raise your hand and you can ask a question to the panel and all those experts can take their shot at answering the question. And so can anybody in the audience. That is a Q&A. And I often like panels because you can meet the experts face to face much more easily. You can have a one on one chat. It's just very helpful. And lastly, we have our headline speaker. This is also called a keynote speaker. Well, the guest speakers are experts and many people come to the conference to hear from an expert guest speaker. The keynote is a super guest speaker. Like if you're going to a tech conference, if you're seeing Jeff Bezos as the keynote, he's the CEO of Amazon, he's like really up there, right? So it will often be someone who's really well known, someone who has achieved a great amount of success, and someone who is, people know about them basically. And the headline speaker will often be used in the marketing material to promote the event. So let's say you have a music industry event, right? And if Eminem is gonna be headline speaking at the music industry event, many people will come to the music industry conference to hear Eminem, right? That's an example. Now, sometimes they'll get like a celebrity like Jim Carrey or former Vice President Jimmy Carter someone not connected to any specific industry, but they're just really famous, maybe really good at speaking, and they'll hire that person to come and speak. And that can draw a lot of interest. 
And so that is another example of a keynote speaker. So those are some words that will get you prepared for your next convention, expo, conference, festival, trade show. And if this helped you, please subscribe to this channel. Check out some other business English videos I have, and as well as my idioms playlist. It's getting bigger and bigger every week, and you're going to really like the things you learn on there. So catch you later, English winners, and I will see you again next week with another video.